Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry if you hear any firework noises in the background. Um, there's loads of people setting them off right outside my house. So yeah, just a little heads up there. If you hear some random banging, it's probably that. But yeah, welcome back. Um, today's video is a commission piece I did for one of the contest winners. She wanted a mermaid done in inspired by Ariel. So I thought, I'd, but with my twist. So I went with the colour schemes of Ariel, so the teal tail and the red hair, and then took it from there. I really wanted to do sort of different pose. I'm trying to ex uh, get better at my anatomy drawing, so I wanted to do um, a different than just a standard straight on pose. And I really wanted to get the whole of the tail in, because a lot of the time while I'm drawing mermaids at the minute, I tend to run out of space on the page because I'm drawing them too big in the tails kind of go off the bottom or something but yeah um, I'm using my Winsor & Newton Pocket Cotman pan set sets, I've got two of those and my own made watercolour palette which is just a mixture of liquid watercolours like I've got Winsor & Newton ones um, you know I don't even know, I've got loads of different ones I'll just put it all together It's a little bit old now, but it's still doing well. I haven't had to refill any of them yet, so that's got to be one good thing at least. And I'm using the Dela Rowney watercolour paper. It's cold pressed, 300 gram. Um, which I quite like this paper. It's really thick. I'm not too keen on the texture of it because it's the grain finish, and I I think I want to try a bit of a smoother one, which. My husband's just bought me a big smooth A3 watercolour book, so uh, I'm looking forward to using that one. Um, yeah. I, while I was doing it, I was using more of a Viridian for the tail, because I don't really have much of a teal colour. And I, found, I noticed with watercolours, the Viridian tends to be more of a teal than a green, which I know Viridian is slightly tealy green, but it's more to the teal side than the green. Whereas I found, like, I don't know if it's just the acrylics I use, but when I use acrylic paint, because I like to use a lot of Iridian in that as well, um, it tends to be more of a green than the teal, so I, th I don't know why that happens, but yeah. That's, um, I just use this time to say a little reminder that next Friday's video I'm actually doing a Q&A so again you can comment on this video or my previous video your questions for the video the for next week there get words out and also you can do it on twitter or instagram anywhere you follow me and yeah now in this part of the video i've actually got this new ink it's a dale rowney pearlescent liquid acrylic ink and oh my god it's amazing i was just like when I first saw it in the shop, because I went down to Falmouth, as a few of you have seen in my vlog, well, sort of vlog, and I went down into Trago Mills, because they don't really sell these inks where I live, and I just saw these pearlescent ones, and I was like, ooh, they look pretty, I'm going to try it. So I got the black one, and it is so beautiful, and when you're painting with it as well, it doesn't matter how much you dilute the ink either, it's still really, really glittery and shiny. And it's just, oh, every, everything had to be sparkly and glittery and yeah. If anyone loves any sparkly inks or anything like that, I would definitely recommend that ink. And it's really nice to use because you can water it down more so it's a lot more, well, liquidy, fluid. Yeah, and you get a lot of different tones with it. But then you can use it really thick as well and it's, it still feels really nice to paint with. Sorry about my camera going in and out of focus here I don't really know why it kept doing that but anyway yeah so I'm definitely gonna try and get some more of these inks I'm gonna have to order them online because there's nowhere around here that sells them but I think at the moment as well the Dale Rowney Amazon account like seller has a sale on some of them so you could get in there quick for that I think I intend to well Maybe. I've got a few other things in the works that are needing more money than art supplies at the moment, sadly. So that was last, one of my last art purchases probably for a while now. Um, but, yeah. 
I also wanted to try painting jellyfish again because I went through a stage before I had um, my little girl Leia where I, I was just painting jellyfish after jellyfish in acrylics and I was loving it and I still have a painting I've not even finished yet that's kind of just sitting behind my TV that I was painting while I was in labour <laughs> but I've not touched it since so maybe she's took all of my inspiration for doing acrylic painting a little artist in the works, you never know but um. Yeah, I like how they turned out. I think I need to practice a bit more doing jellyfish with watercolour. But I, I like them. And I hope the person that this is for, which was Lynn Jones, or this Tanashi Life, I hope she really likes the picture. And we're coming near to the end of the video now. So just... Oh, here I'm using my Pentel Pocket Brush Pen to line it. Just get that in there to mention quickly. Well, yeah, anyway, I'll just leave you some music for this last little bit. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you like the artwork. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.